Hey, good morning, everyone. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for this evening word. For those people who are not in Uganda, we'll give you glory for you've given us another day to, to think of and to know about you more. We pray that you teach us more about you, Lord, that we may know you more than ever before. Teach us your knowledge, teach us your word, that we may understand and live in life that is worth of you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. I give you, I give glory to God for he has given me that another day, another chance to serve to you and to minister to you. Um, today we are going to read in the book of Numbers chapter 11 and verse 4. Now the rubble that was among them had strong craving, and the people of Israel also wept again and said, Oh, what? We had meat to eat. We remember the fish we ate in Egypt. That cost nothing. The cucumbers, the melonies, the ricks, the onions, and the garlic. But now our strength is dried up, and there is nothing at all. Praise the Lord. These people were redeemed from by God, the Israelites. And their redeeming, before leaving Egypt, God spoke to them a lot of things. He told them to eat the sour herbs, the Israelites. Before leaving, God told them to smear their doors with the blood of the lamb. They killed the lamb, all of them, and they smeared the door, their door, door posts. Now, when they were leaving, we are seeing a group of people. These people were not Israelites. These people had not even heard the voice of God. These people never even had no intentions, had no reasons of why they were leaving Egypt. But what they heard, that the Israelites were leaving Egypt and they were going. They saw the miracles God did. In Egypt, they knew Egypt, Israelites were suffering in Egypt. They just heard that God was setting the people of Israel to go and worship Him. So they just joined when they saw the Israelites leaving. They just joined them. They were not denied. They were not refused to go with the Israelites. Now, the problem was not them. The problem was the Israelites who allowed them to go with them and allowed their voices to be heard. This group of people, the Bible said that they cried unto Moses. They murmured against Moses. They wept again and they were speaking evil things against Moses, the leader. But why did you leave, why did you bring us out of Egypt? Why did you bring us to this place? where we are craving we have nothing to eat nothing to drink when we had plenty these people made the children of israel look back and focus back to egypt
This is the group of people which is amongst us. We have many people who do not even have Christ. We have many people who do not have Christ in them. We have many people who have joined us when they have no intention of going to heaven. They have no intention of going to the promised land. This is the group of people who have joined us with no reason. They have no reason why they are in Christ. They have no reason why they are in church. They have no reason. That's why they are doing anything. They are doing everything they want to do, not following the, not following the word of God. Remember, I've told you the Bible says that God told them to smear their doorpost with the blood. God told them to eat the to eat the sour herbs. To prepare for the way they were going into. They have no reason. This group of people who have joined us, they murmured against Moses. And the Bible says that the children of Israel joined them. The problems we have in church is the problem which I have in churches are caused by these people. They move with no reason. They just join. So anything that makes them cry can make them can make them regret. These are the people who are in church who, are, who regret. Why did I join this church? Why did I come into, into salvation? Salvation is nothing. Hmm. When they fail to get the, the husbands, they can backslide and get their own people outside. And they say, we are in Christ, but the, Christ gave us peace. These are the people who began to marry foreign women. Remember the Bible says, God told the children of Israel, never marry their wives where you're going. Do not just marry. These are people who, these are the people that have joined the church with no reason. They have not shed the blood of Christ on their doorpost of the heart. They have not allowed the word of God to work in them. They have no reason of why they are, they are moving. They just joined because everyone is getting saved. Everyone is in church. Everyone goes to church. Everyone goes to... They are just joined. And we think they are one of us. And we think they are part of us. Every time they want the gospel of prosperity. When you fail to preach the gospel of prosperity, they just murmur. When they, you fail to preach the gospel of deliverance, they just murmur. They have no reason. They just need deliverance every time and then and then. They just need the gospel of prosperity then and then and then. Every time you need to speak about the prosperity must gospel. They have no reason of going to the promised land. They have no reason. No wonder the children of Israel, only two people reached the promised land. Because people compromised with these people. These are the people that, that began the compromise. They began the compromise. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, in the book of Jeremiah, we, we, we began last week, the Bible says the, that go into the, unto the crossroads and ask for the ancient paths. Where did you begin? 
Where is the good road? What is the purpose of your going? The only one who knows this way is Christ and the Holy Spirit. What is the purpose? Where are you going? Before you let others shake you, before you make others make you regret why you're in salvation, ask yourself, why did you begin the journey? These people had no reason of why they began the journey. They murmured against Moses. And the children of Israel joined them. And the Bible said that the anger of the Lord rose against them all. You will not say that this person make, made me compromise. No, please. This person made me regret why am I in Christ. That this person did this and this and this and made me backslide. No, please. You're saved alone. You're the only one who shed your, the blood of Christ on your doorpost. You're the only one who accepted Christ. So no one you should look at when he's crying, just go and move on with the faith you, have, you believed in. The faith you have in Christ. Praise the Lord. Let us focus again back to God. Let us our eyes always come back to our let us always come to our senses that we are we came in Christ not to get things but to have him and move with him. May God bless you so much. Heavenly Father, I pray that you make us back to walk you make us come back to our senses that we realize that we are in you and we are moving in you, with you, and nothing that will separate us from your love. May God bless you so much. Thank you for watching.